time now for the Saturday edition of In the Know. We are jumping into hurricane season and you may think, OK, it's a bit early to start talking about hurricanes, but the predictions are already out and we know these scenes all too well. This was from Hurricane Adalia in 2023 and look at Hurricane Lee as this tracked into cooler Canadian waters, still bringing a lot of steam and energy with it. Meteorologist Rhythm Reet joins us right now and Rhythm, the sea surface temperatures that is really important as we track going into the hurricane season. So what are we looking at already that could set the stage for this year? Well, we're already looking at warmer temperatures right across the sea. Temperatures almost close to 30 degrees and this combined with what is called the heat the ocean heat content or the thermal energy across this region is showing and indicating that we're in June, according to those sea surface temperatures and that energy, signifying that we might actually have a slightly earlier start to hurricane season than expected. Okay, now Colorado State University, every year they put out their hurricane forecast and their projections. So we're gonna get to what they're expecting for 2024, that is coming up. But first Rhythm, before we go forward, let's take a look back at 2023 what they forecasted and then what actually happened. Now with 2023, we did see a lower amount of named storms as well as hurricanes. They forecast around 18 named storms, but we only saw 20. And when it came to major hurricanes, they forecasted four and we saw three. And this was all thanks to, well, the El Nino that caused fewer hurricanes in the Atlantic Basin due to the stronger vertical winds, strong trade winds and more stability. More stability means that we're really not going to see a lot of them uh, form upwards and become very strong. And when we're talking about a lot of those hurricanes, we also saw them most of them out into the ocean and not many of them made landfall. Yeah, it, that's an interesting look at the recap there of 2023 and how much happened away from land, which of course calms many nerves of people along the Atlantic coast in the US and in Canada. So rhythm now El Nino is over. We're going into a La Nina summer and I remember doing some interviews with Dr. Doug Gillum for our spring forecast and the 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 thought of this La Nina summer it could raise some alarm bells for hurricane season. And you're absolutely right. Now, we already talked about those warmer temperatures, but the other thing that we look for in the Atlantic Basin is going to be weaker trade winds due to those warmer temperatures, and that causes less atmospheric stability as well. Now, with less atmospheric stability, you're going to have a lot of those storms kicking up and starting across the region, and that's going to lead to, well, more hurricanes and even possibly more storms. Okay, so let's take a look at the forecast from Colorado State University and what they're projecting for 2024. When we're breaking this down, when we're taking a look at things like named storms, we are going to be looking at around 23 possibly forecasted named storms, hurricanes closer to 11. And when we're talking about major hurricanes, we are expected to see possibly upwards of five. And we did that comparison with what we saw in 2023. This can obviously change. We can have a greater amount or a suppressed amount, but this is what we are going to be looking at going into this summer. And it's interesting to see 23 named storms, but only the potential for, you know, 11 hurricanes. And that's because some storms just don't reach hurricane status, right? Exactly. You got that right, Rachel. All right, let's take a look at the names, the name list for this season so we can see sort of what's on deck and uh, what's on tap for 2023. And you know what's so interesting, Rachel? You pointed this out perfectly. Chris and Nadine, <laughs> two fellow meteorologists at the Weather Network this year, are actually on the list of names as well. So we're going to have to see how that plays out. All right, Rhythm. Thanks so much for breaking this down, for sharing the Colorado State forecast. Of course, this will be a big story as we head into our summer months and especially through September.